Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a lovely Saturday. It's currently 6.08 p.m. and I wanted to come on here and give y'all a little review video on this neutral eyeshadow palette that I got. This is the LA Colors 3 Eyeshadow in shade Tumbleweed. It has like a really pretty shimmer gold and then it's like a really pretty brown and then it has like this bronzy type of shade right here. This eyeshadow is a three color eyeshadow palette glides on evenly for a beautiful look. For application, it says apply eyeshadow with a brush and blend as desired. Each shade can be worn alone or layered. So that is good. And I thought it would be really cute with this look. For the look, I'm kind of giving like neutral baddie today, like a pretty brown gloss I have on right now. It's the Ginger Glaze Gloss. It's super duper cute with my brown lip liner. And then of course I have on my cute glitter headband. I'm obsessed with my glitter headbands right now. Okay, so I thought it would be cute if we did like a nice like eyeshadow moment. So cruelty free. That's really, really good. Um, if you're interested in watching this video, just keep on watching. And if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sabia. I hope that you like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so yeah, let's get into this video. A cute flat brush, and then I also grab this blip brush right here. So we can get like a full look moment. Let me zoom in, you guys. Okay, I just got a little closer. This type of mini palette, because I feel like you can really take these like anywhere. Okay, so we got it open. Came with the standard like little eyeshadow type thing, but I prefer to use like a brush. Are these shades right here? Let's do a little swab test and see what and see what's going on. First, gonna swab this one. Movement. See what she's giving. So that's the gold shade. It's pretty gold, but it's also like light. It's like a light pigment type of thing. Like swab this one next. So I'm taking my finger, this like pretty brown color. And then let's see what this one is giving. Okay, it's like a brown. Oh, it kind of got on my tattoo a little bit. Is the brown shade a little bit darker than my skin tone? Now let's try this gold one right here and see what she's giving. Okay, let's put her right there. That is the goldish type color. That's pretty. These shades are really, really cute. And I'm sure blended together, all three of these would make an excellent eyeshadow combo. Okay, so taking my brush, start with this one first because it just seems very like neutral. And let's grab my Fenty Beauty mirror. Grab my Fenty Beauty mirror so I can really see, like, see it very precise. This is a very pretty shade. I was gonna go to the gym today, but the gym is closed on Saturdays. This look is like low key giving like cheetah girls. Not to mess up my eyeliner. Taking this brush right here, I'm gonna go in with the brown. A little bit under the eye for a great smoky eye. A little bit of my Fenty Beauty powder to like clean up like under under this area because I want it to blend well. So I feel like it's kind of high up. I kind of want to bring it down a little bit. Like I feel like it looks good, but I might have blended it up too high good okay so you see how like just nice and blended this side looks and then this side looks like i got like the shadow everywhere and i got like the yeah so let's okay i'm gonna do the same thing to the other side you start closely to the brow and get in that area taking my fenty beauty powder 
and I use the Fenty Beauty powder in shade 330. Really good shade for me. Just like powders in general are just really, really good. Like I love her Fenty Beauty powders. I love her gloss bombs. I haven't tried her new liners yet, but when I'm able to, but when I make it to a Sephora, y'all will definitely know. Like I'm in the gym. I'm like the only girl in the gym, so of course I stand out. When my ball gets stuck, I'm like, bro, my freaking ball is stuck. And so I'm like trying to jump in the air to get my ball back. It's just, it's just a moment I was having. I was like, yo. And then, but then somebody comes over and they're like, hey, do you need help? And then he was able to get my ball down, so that was nice. Like, I guess this guy, he was like trying to like flirt and stuff. And I was like, look. I'm just in here to play basketball. That is it, you know? Like, basketball is, like, low-key becoming my therapy, so it's, like, I don't really have time for anything else. Basketball, to me, is... Now it's basically, like, journaling. And y'all know how I am about my journaling. Like, I take journaling seriously because it's therapeutic, you know? It's It's... It's free therapy. Journaling is free therapy. I used to always wonder, like, SP movie, the therapist recommended that he journal about, like, what he went through in New York. And then on similar movies, I always say, like, hey, you know, just journal it out, write it out. And I understand why, because um, when it comes to journaling, not only will you get the, not only will you get the situation off, like, when it comes to journaling, not only will you get the situation off, like, off your chest, but you'll also in my case i always end up finding like finding some type of like way to figure out my situation by simply journaling because as i'm as i'm journaling i'm also like putting bits and pieces together and then things just start to make sense so yeah that's why i recommend journaling to y'all because journaling is just really really cool i have to spend hundreds of dollars on a therapist you can literally get you a journal it'll be like five dollars or if you have like a tablet or a phone you can literally journal on your notes or you can get like a diary app like it's just so many ways to heal yourself and fix your issues versus going about life still living in the same trauma the same nonsense it's things are fixable control of your life if you want to change your life simply change it it's not going to happen overnight you do have to do the process this isn't going to just happen overnight but it will happen and you will see results it's better to have slow progress than no progress at all in this video here this palette super duper adorable i feel like i could turn this look into a nighttime look if i wanted to but i, I don't really go places at night only a daytime eyeshadow for me i think it's super duper pretty um i really hope that y'all enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe definitely try this la colors eyeshadow palette in shade tumbleweed it is super duper cute i love you guys so so much and i just thought about something like right now but i could definitely wear this in the fall like that would be really, really cute okay i love you guys so much don't forget to keep manifesting journaling and just keep being amazing um also follow me on instagram and twitch at t-i-l-i-a-m-o-n-y-a and i will see y'all tomorrow don't forget to come back tomorrow because i know i post every day okay Mwah. love you guys